ask and you shall receive. How come it's not working for you? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm very glad you came by today to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what's a metaphysical ministry anyway? Well, it's observing the fact that we don't just live in the three dimensions, that we can experience a whole lot more of the world when we go beyond our five senses, hear, taste, smell, touch, see. Because the world that exists out there is way bigger. Between the camera and me, it's not empty space, there's all kinds of stuff that you can't see when you're living just in the human dimension. Well, we begin every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling happy. I'm feeling extremely happy right in this moment because my voice is really clear and it sounds almost normal. And the best part is coming out easily enabling me to make this video for you. So what is this about asking you shall receive? We all know the Bible says that, right? But it's not happening for you. What in the world is going on? Well, we live our lives unconsciously. 95% of the time, we're living on automatic programs deep in our subconscious, so we don't even know where they are. That's what's running us. So you might think, and you might say, and you might really want to stop a certain behavior or eliminate a certain issue. But you've got contrary programming going on out of your awareness. I'm not going to let it happen. For instance, very often when I'm working with somebody, they can't get rid of a program because it's not safe for them. It's not safe for somebody else in their world. It's not in their best interest for them. It's not in the best interest for somebody else in their world. Now they don't know those programs are there until they're working with me and we're very clear about what they are and we can reverse that very easily. But when things aren't manifesting for you, there's a good chance that's the reason. Now, other possibilities just to throw them out. It's things only happen when you know how to ask. You don't ask in words. You don't say, please make such and such go away or please bring this to me that's not a prayer that's a supplication that's a begging it's not going to happen prayer is always gratitude you know what it's gratitude for it's gratitude for the fact that the possibility that you want in other words being free of whatever the issue is or having whatever it is you want to have. It's gratitude for knowing that possibility already exists. And when you put yourself in the emotional state where you know, you know that it's already real for you, that's when it happens. Now if you're on our ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page we'll talk the space for. What is it in your life you'd like to make manifest? When you put out the request, you have a thought form about that big. But if lots of people are aware of your request, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So it goes out in that bigger form to the universe. The universe takes those, oh, you must be really serious about this. We'll bring it to you sooner, always with a caveat. It will only come if it is in your highest and best interest. And it's about you and not somebody else. So if there's something that you would like to manifest that's not happening now, go on down there, let us know. I'll put it up there. Come back at least once a week. Tell your friends, your family to come back too. Read the name of each person on the list and what it is that they're requesting to make real in their life. You don't have to know who they are, the universe does. If you haven't done so already, going over there, you give me your name and email, I'll give you 
a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. Thanks again for coming by. I really appreciate your clicking like and share. We're a metaphysical, spiritual community, totally unrelated to any religion. So for somebody who's on their spiritual path, we just might be exactly what they're looking for. Let them know we're here. I wish you a week filled with many blessings and understanding the true meaning and method for prayer.